I am Mark Tross, and this is Epiphany, God Manifest. Today we're in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. From Paul, a bondservant of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, called to be an apostle, a special messenger set apart to preach the gospel, good news of and from God, which he promised in advance long ago through his prophets in the sacred scriptures the gospel regarding his son who as to the flesh his human nature was descended from david and as to his divine nature according to the spirit of holiness was openly designated the son of god in power in a striking triumphant and miraculous manner by his resurrection from the dead even jesus christ our Lord, the Messiah, the Anointed One. And also in Romans chapter 8, verse 3, we read, For God has done what the law could not do. This is so absolutely important to you as a believer. It's about faith, not works. But faith without works is dead. So, for God has done what the law could not do. Its power being weakened by the flesh the entire nature of man without the Holy Spirit. Sending his own son in the guise of sinful flesh and as an offering for sin, God condemned sin in the flesh, subdued, overcame, deprived it of its power over all who accept that sacrifice. Leviticus chapter 7, verse 37. Now what's so important about this is that God in human flesh because he was 100% God, 100% flesh. The word of God tells us that he became sin for us so that we could become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and manifest that truth, not by our own might or power, but by his Holy Spirit working upon, in, and through our life.